Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood factory man. That's right, Rasnek. We are back in the world of Factorio. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And uh, thanks for being here. Thank you for tuning in and watching what is a fun, fun series for me. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. I know tons of people aren't watching it, but you know what? I'm, I'm really enjoying my playthrough of Factorio. It's been a while since I played through the game, so I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So here's our little factory man. Wish he could jump or wave or say hi. He just turns his head left and right, left and right, left and right. All right, so let's uh, see what's going on. Today we're going to build what's called a hub or a mall or it's kind of like a factory to build our factory, right? Because as, as we keep progressing, we don't want to keep handcrafting splitters and belts and we don't want to handcraft anything. We really don't want to handcraft anything. So what we want to do is we want to create a, a couple places that make everything we need to expand our factory world as we continue. Because we don't want to sit there and be crafting inserters and we don't want to be crafting light poles and we don't want to be crafting all this stuff. So I'm going to build something um, over here. This is inspired by a YouTuber uh, factorial player called Analis. Not Alice. I think I said that right. Uh, link will be down in the description. It is, uh, let's see, N-I-L-A-U-S, -N Nialis TV. And I'll put a link down there in the description for YouTube. Does some amazing factorial content. He has a factorial masterclass. He has all kinds of blueprints, all different kinds of stuff that he likes to uh, teach and show and does a wonderful job doing that. So definitely, definitely check that out. All right, so let's get to work and I'll show you how this goes. So we're going to, we got to get a little creative here because usually you want to build these like in this nice big stack, right? You want like this big, beautiful stack of, you know, different stuff. Um, but because of these cliffs, we're going to have to get a little creative and that's okay. I like being creative. I like kind of fitting our build the landscape but as always we want to leave ourselves some room uh I'm, I'm not worried about room because we're playing in peaceful so i don't have to worry about the biters attacking us until we attack them so room is not necessarily a problem all right so i will show you how this works so first off uh it's probably best to build this with blue factories but we don't have enough blue factories right now so we're going to build this out of um, just plain factories. So what we're going to do is we're going to have iron coming in the bottom. We're going to have iron coming in the top. And then we're also going to have copper and circuits coming in the top. And it's going to feed this whole factory area that we get built. So let's uh, do it. All right. So got to get my, got to get my spacing out just to the start. And then once we kind of get the first factory down, we're good to go. There's that one. Then what you want to do is you want three spaces between your factory. So there's one, two, three. There you go. And then you want another three spaces. One, two, three. And there is our first row of factories. Now, the, the great debate uh, in Factorio, one of the great debates is we already have we already have um, gears over here, right? So we could bring gears in and not produce gears locally. But, th but the problem is, is we want these gears dedicated to science production because we're going to be using more and more of those for, for science and other things. So it's gears are one of those things that you can make locally because the production time is so quick. It's only half a second, right? So we can make a lot of gears really, really fast. And in fact, for this whole factory, we're going to need... A boat, a ton of gears, you say. Yes, a boat, a ton of gears. Or a trail, car, a ton of gears. Whatever you want to call it. So we got those gears. And then we're also going to do one more set of gears. But we're going to space this out a little different. We're going to go one, two, three. And then drop our factories in there. Gears, gears, and gears. So that's going to be kind of our local gear... Oh. Factory. Actually, I think I need one, two, three. I need one more. Now that I'm thinking about it, we need we need a total of four. Yeah, we need one more. So we're gonna space this out. One, 
two, three, three, three. And this was, again, this will all make sense to you as we finish. So all this is just for gears. All this production is just for gears, right? Like, holy crap, Raz, that's a lot of freaking gears. Where are all those gears going to go? Well, we will get there. So I'm going to bring up this. We're going to bring this. And then... Gotta get my yeah, I gotta get my spacing done. Do, do, do. There. There. There and there. And then iron goes. Like so yeah. Sometimes it's kinda hard to see. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes my spatial awareness is a little off. All right. That is our iron feed is going to be coming in this way. And then we're going to have another feed that comes in this way. We'll talk about that again a little later. So let's just go ahead and get this first set running. We're going to feed iron in. We're going to feed gears out. Iron in. Gears out. We're going to go two places out. Iron in, gears out, just like so, right? Nothing to it, nothing to it. I'm gonna do iron in, gears out, then uh, iron in, one does two, gears, 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 iron in, M. Sorry, it takes me a minute to remember how to do this. I'm gonna go like this. Want the inserter right on top there. That's right. I believe like so. And we're going to take advantage of an underground belt. Yes, we are. We are going to take advantage of the underground belt that goes to there. And then this one's going to do the same. Take advantage of that belt to there and just like that. That's going to be kind of the first row. And we'll do this next one here in a second. But I want to get this set up and working. And you can do a blueprint um, for these. It's it's there, there are blueprints you can download and then you can place it. I just like to build them myself so that I can start remembering how to do things. Otherwise, I really struggle in understanding, if, if I'm not making it myself, I really struggle in understanding why I'm doing something. And I don't know if that makes sense to you. It does to me though. Like I can't, I can't just plop down a blueprint and be like, okay. Cause then later on I'm like, well, why is it this way? And I forget that I have a blueprint and I forget all this other stuff. What am I missing? Oh, copper plates. I need some more big power poles. That's the one thing I didn't make early. We'll put in some big power poles because we got to run electricity all the way up here. All oh, the big power poles are so nice, aren't they? So nice. And just like that, it is connected. So we have to bring uh, iron iron over to our, our good old handy dandy place here. What we're going to do is we're going to split Iron off of the belt. Uh, off of the main bus. I mean, take iron off of the main bus. That. Again, it's good to have room. You always want room for your stuff. This this might get changed later on as we move stuff around, but for right now, it can go like this. And a voila! And if you watch, it'll start making gears, right? 
And you're like, but Raz, there's nowhere to gear, put the gears. Just putting them on the ground. Oh, wait just a second, little birdies. We are going to take advantage of underground belts. That's right. We're going to take advantage of this situation, and we're going to create a, a, a much nicer environment for our belts. And what that does is it's kind of hard to see, but it, that this underground belt has a surface to place gears on. And now you can see there's gears running down this belt right down the middle. We're going to do the same thing here. And just like that, voila, we have wonderful gear production and then we're just going to expand this you can it's not, it's not hard at all gang we're just going to expand this now the great thing about this build is this is expandable later on as you upgrade your tech tree this stuff is expandable uh you will continue to improve your build as you go along which by design I mean, it's, it's want, you want it to improve. You want things to get better. You want to unlock access to more and more goodies. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Oh, man. We start some dynamite. Let's blow some stuff up. All right. So that's our gear production. Let's finish this off real quick so that we can be done with it. Uh, did that wrong. Right there, yeah, it's right there. Run this down this way. But we're just going to finish this gear production. And then we're going to use all these gears for stuff. For stuff, I say. Stuff. We need, we're going to need uh, tons and tons of stuff. Out. Out, power pole. You can tell I've built this a few times. All right. Now we have a gear production to feed the rest of our plant, right? All that was for is to feed the rest of this. That's all it was for. That's it. Like, Raz, really? Yes, really. That's all it was for. It was to feed the rest of our plant. But now what we need is gears and uh, we need two items. We need copper and we need um, we need circuits is what we need we need copper and circuits and I like to put the, um, the copper on top and the circuits on bottom I don't think it really matters but it just usually works out better for me that way for some reason that I can't explain and we're just doing this in the dirty we'll fix all this later I know I know the true to the true to play life uh, for players are like, but oh no, you can't do that because now your stuff's all messed up. Your bus. It's like, well, listen, we can clean up our bus later on. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, your pretty little heads. We can make all this fixed better later. So we're again, we're taking advantage of side loading to create a nice line of this. In fact, I'll probably do this further back later on. Uh, I need to merge these two probably about right here because we need another line of this up here later on. So I'll fix that later. But for, for today's video, this takes care of it. Now, we're just going to keep continuing on the exact same process, right? I mean, it's almost the layout is exactly the same. I mean, the layout is, is very, very similar. It's it's actually very simple once you get the hang of it. Uh, we're going to do two, three. Space three there. And we're going to leave this space empty. You can kind of ghost place, which is nice to do, but we're not going to use those for now because there's really nothing we can make with those. But what we're going to do here is we're going to start our production. So we got inserters here, we got belts here, and we got underground belts here. And while we're at it, what we'll do is we'll make red. So you got yellow, red, same here, yellow, red and yellow and red. So we have all this nice stuff to make our, 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 our deals. So what we need first is, of course, we need belts. 
and to make belts you just need iron plates and iron gears which we have iron plates and iron gears so we're going to feed into here we're going to feed into here we're going to make a lot of these items tons and tons and tons of them then also we're going to put this like this and we're going to put a box right here because we want to be able to come back later on and get our our plates All right that's what we want we want to be able to do this so let's fire that up and as you can see, we have all kinds of stuff being made, right? We got all, now we're making um, inserters. We're just gonna keep searching stuff. Now, so, but what we need here is we need transport belts, electronic circuits, and iron plates. So it's a very easy remedy. We're going to feed from there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a log inserter. We're gonna drop a long inserter there and a long inserter just like so. So now this one production is going to feed a lot of this. Now, maybe not be the most efficient. and It might take a while to fill up, but that's okay. It doesn't bother us. It, it, not a problem. Again, we're going to do the same here because we need transport belts and iron plates. So we're going to get our iron plates off the line, just like so. And we're going to get our belts just like so. And again, like all the rest, we're going to put that there, that there, because we need an outlet. Boop, 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 missed, and boop. Electric pole here, electric pole here, electric pole here, electric pole there. You can kind of see how this is creating a flow, right? It's just creating a flow of, of, of stuff. Now, you don't want thousands of these, right? I don't want thousands of these. So there's there's a couple ways of doing this. There's one, you can just kind of like lock it off and then once these two are full, then you're done, right? You won't make any more, no worries. Uh, you also can use uh, what's called a circuit. So let me make a couple of these wires and, and I'll show you kind of how these work. Um, it's not too overly complex, but some people do have trouble with it. So let's grab our our little circuits and what you do is you connect it to the box like so and you so you have this connected to this and then what you do oh then uh, what you have to do is is a connected network uh, how do i do it? oh right there so you click on this and what you want is you, you're going to pick the item that you're exporting. So we're exporting, uh, not underground, let's we're exporting inserters, right? And you want that to be a, a mount, right? So let's just say 100, that. What that's going to do is that's going to put 100 inserters in there, right? Then you're gonna take this one and you're gonna do inserters like this and then you you, you want to always leave a certain amount so let's just say 50 just like so and what we should do is this will constantly feed as long as there's a hundred until we reach a hundred and this will never take more than 50. i hope that makes sense because that's kind of how that works and that's what these networks do um it, it just it turns it on when there's when there's less than 100 it keeps this on and then when there's greater than 50 it turns this off or it doesn't turn it on until there's greater than 50 you can see the little red and green lights it's i mean it's again it, sometimes it's easier just to do that with stuff but if once you get later on you'll want to do circuits and i don't know i, I don't play with circuits a whole lot i might have to do some homework before I actually make an episode that doesn't confuse the bejeez out of everybody. All right, so we got these ghost placed, right? We got these little items ghost placed here. We don't need them. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and make some inserters. So now we have all of our stuff being made. Nice and wonderful like. In fact, put some outlets so that we can store these. Um... So that we can uh, have a place to put them. 
What is this? Oh, this is missing gears. Well, Raz, you haven't finished. Jeez. All right. So let's do this. 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 Yeah, we need more gears because these gears are going to come all the way through the factory. And need gears. Yes, it does need gears. Needs gears. That needs gears. That needs gears. That needs gears. There we go. Nah, oh, so pretty. This one doesn't need circuits. But this one needs circuits. Let's put us a long inserter in like so. Let's bring our belts down this way like so. Good deal. All right. Struggling there for a little bit. And now you can see we have this amazing production, just kicking butt, right? Making everything we need. And then when we need it, we can just come in here and we can grab a stack of underground belts. We can come in here and grab some of these. We can come right here and grab our inserters as we need them. You can kind of see it just creates this place for us to get all the stuff we need to, um, to produce our factory and eventually the robots will move this to a nice centralized location. It's yeah, it, it gets complicated, but that's all right. We got to finish this. We've been talking for way too long. All right. So next up on the agenda, we're going to do, uh, we're going to start prepping for the next part. And again, the great thing about this build is it is expandable. Is it allows you to do all kinds of stuff uh, allows you to continuously expand. In fact, I did that wrong. Iron there. I need this stuff here. There we go. Need it. I needed that there. That there stuff right there. Like, uh, bring our iron this way because we'll get our iron off the bottom. And then we're going to drop, start dropping in um, some factories. So we're put a factory there and a factory there. Again, you're going to go uh, this time. Three. It's still three. Yeah. One. One two. Yep, just like so. And those are going to be our inserters. So you have your blue inserter, yellow inserter, purple inserter, which we haven't used yet, and long inserter. So that's going to be our inserter production. And again, just like before, you're, it's very simple. You're going to make inserters. What do we need? We need iron gears and plates. So... Um, in fact, though, let's do like this, and like this, and like that. That will feed there. We need a little... You know what? Yeah, I don't need a long inserter. I need like this. I think that's how I want it. Let's... I said it's been a while. I have a tendency to forget these things. So. Why isn't this? I gotta move this back one. Trial and error. Always trial and error. Okay. So we need iron plates and we need inserters. And this one needs iron plates. I think this is I'm trying to Yeah, because this one this one has to feed that one. What we need to do need an underground belt. Need an underground belt here. Need one space. And I think we run like this. Then this will go like so. 
This just needs gears. Why do we not have gears? Oh, you silly rabbit. That's why. Did something. I screwed up somewhere. Hang on. I gotta figure this out. What? Did, how did I mess this up? <laughs> Messed up something. Where did I go wrong? No, that's good there. Go this way. I gotta have my box there. Ugh, I hate when I do that. All right, pause them for a second. Be right back. All righty, I am back. I got it fixed. I, somehow I had my spacing off here, this little section here, and then it kind of messed up the whole thing going down. So I kind of had to re-space it. But yeah, long story short, I kind of got it working. So we got yellow, blue, um, purple, and red all queued up and ready to go. Let's drop in. Some power poles where they need to go. Just like so. Now, the problem is, is I have I have a huge problem right now. I don't, that means I don't have enough iron. If you look, my iron throughput is just... This has sucked it dry. So we're going to have to expand that iron throughput. But yeah, this this should, should work. Oh, I've got to bring this down a little bit more. There, yep. And then there we go. So yeah, I'm, like I'm missing gears and it's not that there's no gears. They're just, there aren't enough. <laughs> there's no iron feed in this gear processing. So we're going to have to increase the iron. Uh, and then I'll, I'll go do that here in just a second. But I also added, uh, again, this is Nihilus's idea. None of these are my own. Uh, eventually there's going to be a factory here, here, like where these ghosted areas are. Those are going to be factories. And what you do is you expand. So once we get into blue belts, we're going to put blue belts here. And then there's also some other inserters that we're going to improve. But also because this line, because it's there and it takes it, what we can do is we can do some other production of stuff that requires the same inputs. So like right here. Why is this? Oh. Oh, Raz. Like, why isn't that working? So this is radars, and it takes iron gears and electric circuits, minor drills, exact same. And then these are repair parts, which we may, may, probably won't need them. So let's actually reduce that way down. Um, same with this. The miners, we're not going to need tons of those. So let's reduce that down. And then, yeah, same with radars. Like, you don't need tons and tons of this stuff, so you can kind of really reduce your output there. Same with purple inserters. I'm not going to need tons of those and big inserters for now. We'll just reduce those. Uh, yeah, you just want to go through and make sure your boxes don't... Not that we have enough iron to fix that right now, but there we go. We'll just kind of reduce all that. I don't need I don't need full boxes of this yet so yeah there we go good deal actually and that's that so that's but our biggest problem right now is we don't have enough iron like we just don't have enough iron to feed all these these gear machines so that just take that's an easy fix right we just have to expand upon our iron production very very simple fix nothing really major uh because we made our stuff scalable right if you look down here this is all scalable uh one of the, now we don't need this anymore right because well 
for making um, all this stuff elsewhere so we can get rid of that. And this will allow us to increase our iron production. But in order to increase iron production, we need to increase our iron throughput, which means we need more miners. And you get the gist of it, right? So we're going to plop down. Probably going to fill this whole thing up. We need we're going to need about another 10 miners to push this belt, make it nice and full. And then uh, we'll expand. We'll expand this iron smelter to make increase our throughput but that is the hub that's kind of the first one uh this one analysis calls the, the uh, logistic logistic hub uh because it's belts and inserters and all that kind of stuff uh in the next episode we'll do another hub which is going to be uh, more stuff all different kinds of stuff to build it's going to be um uh, electric poles and uh, factories and all different kinds of other stuff that we're going to need to make our factory right because all this stuff we're gonna pull to make our nice big factory thank you guys so very much for watching I hope I didn't confuse you I hope you enjoyed this one and maybe you learned something that you didn't know or maybe you just looked at me and laughed uh, because Raz is just such a failure at these things so <laughs> everybody <laughs> take care Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.